Okay, so we're just gonna interrupt for a second. You all might know, or you probably don't, but this is actually occupied Dunedahaga territory. This is not the city of Montreal, and this is not Canada, okay? And so when you're here on occupied territory, the most important law that you need to respect is natural law. And as indigenous people, we have developed our culture in accordance with natural law. We don't see the natural world as separate from who we are. Um, my name is Amanda Lickers and I'm Turtle Clan, uh, Onodawaga Haudenosaunee Seneca of the Western Doorkeepers of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. I'm here to say that Ganyaseragoa, um, that the great law of peace is not dead. And as an indigenous woman, I have a responsibility to myself and to future generations in order to ensure that our water is still drinkable. After almost 500, over 520 years of occupation on indigenous territories, look what you see. There's already nothing but cancer in the water. The reality is that it's not just Haudenosaunee territory that's being impacted by tar sands destruction, okay? Um, the, like, it's, it's also like the heart of the tar sands in Athabasca, Chippewan First Nation and Dennis Saline territory. And you know that they cannot fish, they cannot hunt. And you don't even have to go as far as tar sands to, to feel that. You just have to go to the Suncor refinery in the east end of this island. The same tar sands bitumen that is released into the water in Athabasca is released into the air here. The carcinogens build up in our bodies and make it so that we can't even, oftentimes, breastfeed our own children. This is not a democratic process, you know? People like want to talk about the NEB, like, oh, let's just sign our petitions and pass this on to the municipal government. But first of all, the very nature of this pipeline is in violation of the great law. It's in violation of Ganyaseragoa. It's in violation of the law of this land. You do not mind your mother. 